Articulations, Smart Shapes, and Endings Articulations include note-attached markings, such as a staccato, accent, and fermata. After entering all of the notes in a score, I prefer to enter articulations first, slurs and phrase markings next, and then dynamics and expressions after I have formatted the score. I prefer to enter the articulations in scroll view since it is easier to keep track of the measure numbers. The measure number for the leftmost measure showing on screen is found in the measure box at the bottom of the window. Click on the articulation tool. Click on the note head in measure 1, beat 4, where you want to add a staccato. The articulation palette opens. You can select the staccato mark and click select to enter it, but notice the blue letters in the corner of each box. S for staccato, A for accent, F for fermata, plus others. These are Finale's meta tools, which are intuitive shortcut keys that will speed up your workflow. Click Cancel to close the palette. Now let's use the Meta tool to enter a staccato. Hold down the S key for staccato and click on the note head. Or hold A for accent and click. F for fermata and click. I'll undo these last two since they are not in the score. To quickly move to measure 10 in the score, type in 10 in the measure box and press enter or return. You can also add articulations on multiple note heads horizontally or vertically in your score by holding down the meta tool and dragging over the note heads. To edit an articulation, click on the handle to move or delete. If you need to redraw your screen to get rid of ghost figures, press Ctrl D on Windows. That's Command D on Mac. Click out of the Articulation tool on any other tool icon to make the editing handles disappear. Enter all of the articulations in the Symphony 28 score.